Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dying Light 2. In the last couple of videos, we did a ton of story stuff. We got loads done. We've claimed the water tower in the name of the survivors, which I'm still feeling a little bit iffy about, but, you know, down with um, authoritarianism. And beyond that, we've got a lovely cap. And we're going to go do some side quests. We're just going to work on every nearby side quest. And go in that kind of manner. There's one right here, apparently. Oh, of course, we got a new parkour challenge, didn't we? This guy is the best water deliverer man in town. He's wrong. For I am the best water deliverer man in town, of course. Okay, zip wire. I wonder if having all this stuff from the... They may have worked around it. But, you know, we got some stuff from the... Um... From the survivors. As... Like parkour stuff, right? Oh my god, so many checkpoints. Go, go, go! Aiden, you're so close. Can I. Yep, okay. <laughs> uh oh. Ugh, oh, didn't know you could do that. Learn something new every day. It, really good timing. Okay, this is an interesting one. So many checkpoints. It feels very. Oh no, there's, a... <laughs> there's an inhibitor nearby. Because there's so many checkpoints, it feels much more parkour focused than a lot of the others. You know, like close quarters parkour rather than the others where it was kind of like more like planning your route ahead of time. I don't really feel that in this one. This one I have to, I have to think far too fast for my liking. <laughs> like you've got about two seconds per thing to, <laughs> to figure out where you're gonna jump. Like this may have been a oh right, there's something there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> I just held myself off the edge, thinking, you know what? It'll be fine. All right, I only got up here. Oh, there's a pad. <clears throat> this is madness. Yep. Very well suited to the uh, survivors. <clears throat> Must be said. I do like how they've integrated like, the entire city, but the Nora. There's a pad there. It's got so many to go, man. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. I think, like, sprint and stuff like that would end up being super helpful in ones like this. Obviously, we don't have all the skills. Oh, well, that was useless. Ugh. Really slow me down. Just keep running, just keep running. I've got five to go and 40 seconds to do it in. That's doable. We'll see how doable. <laughs> no! It's not doable when I do that. gonna make it. <laughs> that was really hard work. My god, I teased my brain so much. It was terrifying. Constant, constant searching out everywhere and looking for the next route immediately and hoping for the best and a little bit of luck, if I'm honest. Bloody hell. <clears throat> that was mad. Angry Trish. I love Trish. Uh, right, let's buy some stuff. Let's <laughs> say so try to take a breather, Jesus. Absolute madness. Oh, where's my XP? I didn't... We're quite far away, aren't we? Yeah. No way. I mean, no fucking way. How did you do that? Did you cheat? No, I'm just faster. So no more Sadio the Lightning for you. This ain't over. I'll keep practicing, and so should you. See you around the water tower, Paul. It's a bit harsh. We did it! <clears throat> right. Uh, yeah, I didn't get any for doing that, did I? No. Okay, so what is the next quest on the map? It's, well, it's right there. Missing persons. Look for Cliff at the Devil's Bridge. It's only level one quest, so we should get it done now, really. 
kind of want to just get every... We're on cleanup duty again now. You know, the main quest is... I think in a relatively good spot. You know, we've had all the big revelations and everything. So now would be the time to... Um, to sort of work on everything else a little bit. Is this... Yeah, I guess so. Hmm, I wonder why I don't have... Angry mode. Where's my angry mode? There it is. <laughs> it's a delayed angry mode. Well, it's not really. Where are, they, where are these people? Just leaving. Massive bags of rice. Inside laundry hampers. <laughs> like, they're clearly not people to be trusted. I don't trust anyone anyway. Never mind people who leave rice in laundry hampers. I was thinking, I really do want to... I mean, obviously, you always want to level up, but I really want to level up, because if we hit level 4, in theory, we can go do that... ER... That ER... Is it ERC? No, ERC is x rice Chicken. That's my meal plan. <laughs> it's, um... Uh, what's it called? GRE? GRE! GRE is, um... No, oh, it's very similar. Do, 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 do. We can go do that one that beat me up ages ago. I need my revenge on that building, where we only got two of the inhibitors. Plus, I feel like we haven't had inhibitors. Yet. Well, not a lot of them lately. <clears throat> Nearly leveled up combat. Although, I believe we need to level up four more times, so we're still quite well away. Will we? Will we? I wonder if you get bonus XP for killing them like this. Let's find out. Yes, you definitely do. <laughs> I got six for killing that one. I got twenty-five for killing the other one. Does that make it worth it? Eh. We'll have to get the quick takedown ability at some point. I actually think that will be useful. I'm not really playing stealthily though. I just I don't see why you'd, you you can if you want. You can build sort of stealthily. You know you can pick up the right equipment to build stealthily. You can pick up the right skills to play stealthily. Is it really that kind of game though? Ah, I'm not so sure on that one. Feels more like it has a stealth section because everything has to have a stealth section. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you. You're not dead. <laughs> Let's make sure. Oh, my precious antique cans. Oh, didn't work. I got 11. Maybe decapitation gets you more points. Maybe it depends on the level of the zombie. Oh, I hear a voice. Nah, I think they may be outside. Oh, they're down there. On my way, lads. Just gonna steal everything first. Is it really stealing? I don't know. I always think, part of me thinks this would be really exciting. Exploring abandoned houses for loot, you know. Watching over every corner in case there's a zombie army lurking behind the door. And then I realised, you know, yeah, but you'll you you'll sort of die. <laughs> but the actual process of exploring and cleaving out abandoned houses is just inherently thematically really, really cool. I wonder if Days Gone has a lot of that. I much prefer my horror to be first person, is my problem. And why I've been resisting Days Gone a little bit. I feel like horror third person is much less effective. It just doesn't work. Like, imagine if Alien Isolation was a third person game. I just... I just don't think I'd... I just don't think anyone would care nearly as much, you know? I'm sure there's some people who like that, but I think... horror benefits more than most genres in, like, pure... immersion. And I think first person is usually the best way to do that. Fairly obvious reasons. Right! Skills! We have... Ooh, to go to level up. What are we picking up here? Ground pound, drop kick, grapple, block, block, 
Stab. I need a knife. But I don't have a knife. Is a knife a weapon? Is it... Are you... What is it? I, I mean, obviously a knife is a weapon, but is it a weapon I find? Is it a upgrade I'm going to get later on? Who knows? I don't really want any of these. Um, is there anything I want later on? I think the deflect projectiles is probably quite useful. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care about stuff like that. I do kind of like the idea of using the bow. To the point that I'm kind of tempted to start putting points in it right now. That might seem like madness. Guys, I don't know what to say. Also, air kick. Seems pointless when you can get smash. I'm going to do it. Let's go. Let's go crazy talk. I'll be prepped for the future. I, I like bows and stuff like that. I've always liked bow and arrow gameplay, so. <clears throat> Even if I never end up using it. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Why am I getting 35? It's 25, then they fall over and it goes up by another 10. It's odd. It's actually a lot of points, honestly. When you can chain them together like this, it's quite a decent chunk. Probably gained, what, 280 in this room? Something like that? Maybe a little bit less. 235, maybe? Is that maths? No. Not bad. Wait, no, that must be maths. 35, 70, 105, 140, 175, 210, 245, 280. Yeah, it is maths. Cool. Good job, maths. Best friends forever. Best friends forever. Best friends forever. Hello. Oh, it's my... I was really excited for a second, but oh, finally, inhibitor nearby. Of course not. Can I not just... Oh. Pop some shrooms. I don't like the dark. I'm always afraid. Someone lurking out there. Hey, oh right. I was I was going to kill them on the way down. And I thought to myself, I don't actually know if they're bandits or not. They could be chill guys, so I think I should leave them alone. Obviously they were not chill guys. I am the only chilled guy. Beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. Do 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 do. What have we got? We've got Parfin and we've got Solid Shoes. The rather disappointing sequel to Metal Gear Solid. Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow. Resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop! Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not... You're working with him, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Not a fish. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he... Uh... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. 
You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. Waltz? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah, they took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did? What? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Who's greater good? The bosses, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. Amy hey, in. I'm gonna have to kill your brother, just so you know. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Oh. I wanna kill Cliff. Hello, truck what? people. <clears throat> Oddly associated with the main story, considering it's a side quest. Come on, then. You mind? I can't block project the house jets. <laughs> Always the appropriate thing to do. Right, let's have a little loot. To go back to Cliff's face in. Typical Tuesday. It's Thursday, but it's never here nor there. The game is very weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is it telling me how to use medkits? I can know how to use medkits. Alright. I'll be up there in a minute. I'm looting. <laughs> Alright, quick. You're not ready for this. Quick face! Quick face! Greatest hero of them all. <laughs> Uh, right. Cliff, you've been very silly. Take him! Damien, I've murdered your brother. Come on, man. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? He'll be fine. He'll be fine. What have we got here? Wristwatch and a baggy sweatpants. Love some baggy sweatpants. All right, done. Just got to go back to Damien. What's going on there? Just gotta get back to Damien. Uh, right, so what is the nearest thing on that? There's a quest right there, which is very tempting. <laughs> um, so I think we'll go do that. So, it's a quest. Where are you reading? There's a quest coming from. Why do I have three more quests on my map suddenly? What's this? Double time. Oh, well, that's. Return to Damien at the bazaar. That's talk to Dodger at the bazaar. Although we're not done, that's that's got more work to do. What's that? That's the yeah. Oh, Where do you all keep coming from? <laughs> I can fight. I'm happy doing side quests. I quite like side quests, but oops, it is. One day, I'll take her out way up this building. Hey, you okay there? Damn it! He made me lose count. Once more. 
The bag's there. 13 steps from the entrance. 27. Wait, uh, two infected ran in at that point. Damn it. I'll never find it again. Find what? My father's CD. The future of mankind depends on it. The future of mankind? Mm-hmm. That's what my father says. Stellan Borg, a professor of cosmology here at the university. Heard of him? He wrote a famous paper, The Cosmology of Virology. Some next-level thinking. So what's on the CD? No idea. My father left it in a backpack. A bag. Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked everything. I was 13 paces from the apartment when two infected burst in. No, wait. Three. Do you want me to help you? Would you? Because I... I couldn't even... I, I mean, I could try. But three infected is too many. They'd kill me. Yeah, probably. Right, so here's the deal. The CD is in my father's bag, or a backpack. And the bag, or backpack, is in our apartment at 116 Bell Tower Road. That's west off of Horseshoe, close to Meatpacking Square. And remember, the fate of the human race may rest on you retrieving that CD. Father will pay you, uh, of course, when you bring him the CD. He'll be waiting outside the church. I got it. Oh, and here's a tip. Wait till dusk. That's when they leave. They're packed in there during the day. Five in the hall, then two up the stairs. No, three. Okay. Suspect you're a little bit cuckoo bananas, pal. <laughs> Alright, we'll turn to night time, then we're going to go pick up the other quest that requires night time, that's super nearby. I do like that... Uh, where is it? Am I cuckoo bananas myself? Maybe I didn't have a quest that required night time, so where does he want me to go? Is it there? Yeah, okay, so we may as well go pick up Sentinel. Oh, that was a night time quest, it's because it's night time now that it, it disappears, essentially. Alright, let's go kill the blue thing, and then we will go pick up the quest and see what we're going to do. Only acceptable way. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> Am I okay? I'm okay. This is why I want the bow. This is literally the main reason I want the bow. It's just to pick off uh, howlers. Relative safety. And I do mean relative safety. I don't think it's ever going to be more than that. Oh. Wow. Not what it. Hey. Um. <laughs> um. Alright then. I needed the trophy! Aiden, climb! What are you doing? <laughs> it just stopped! Please, zombies, bite me a little more, zombies. Wait, where's that quest? It's over there. Okay, we're gonna hop over there to the UV, then we'll come back. I think that's why I can't pick up the quest. Stupid zombies. What's going on? <laughs> Sentimental value. Chance to find. Does that mean what it sounds like? I am confusion. What I suspect is because the chase was on, whatever was meant to be there, like a, a person, hasn't spawned in. Uh, let's go kill this blue thing and we'll come back and we'll see if it's there. And if it's not there, we'll just move on for now. Well, it gets cold in the city. Oh, 
<laughs> I didn't quite expect the big guy when it started going down. And <laughs> they never do. Oops, it is. I didn't try to block it, game. <laughs> you were aware of that, right? It's like, you know you can't block those attacks, right? Like, well, I didn't bloody attempt to in the first place. Okay, let's go see if they're there, and if not, we'll move on, as I say. Oh, we pop. It's nearly time for a new weapon. Very exciting time. I don't really know what this is about. This is weird. Alright then. Moving on, we're gonna go do this since it's nearby. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh oh. <laughs> it's like a slide. It's like a slide from a comic or something. Like slow, dramatic slide. But I have a vague recollection of being here before. I think this is how I got up last time as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, what have we got here? It looks like a containment thing. Wait, doesn't he live in a house? Why is it here? <laughs> this isn't a house. Wait, how do I get inside? Oh no. My headset started beeping. It's low on battery. Alright then. I guess it is a house and they put that over the top of it so they've got like secure access. Why is that red? Hmm. Interesting. Never seen that before. Maybe because it's special infected. Boop, boop. Um. I don't know if it's doing it on purpose, but it's very well timed to my takedowns right now. <laughs> I take down a zombie and it goes like, Gum. nice and dramatic. Who is spitting at me? Oh, hello. <laughs> you cheeky little boy there. You can't do that. I love these. Oh my god, there's actually so much loot. Oh my god, through that, it's amazing. Man, every time I see like a special infected, I know I'm going to get a trophy. It's really exciting. It's probably, now that I think about it, it's probably quite an easy thing to farm. What you would do, I think probably the quickest way to do it would be to, you know, the, um, the convoys. Convoy! The convoys, and when you clear them out, obviously, as we've seen, you get attacked by loads of virals, and even just getting up to that point where you've cleared all the enemies tends to have a few trophies in there as well. You probably get like 10 trophies per convoy, but the convoys respawn every day. I believe. I don't know if it's every day, but they definitely respawn. So you would just keep doing them, basically, just keep going back. If I ever felt like an intense need to farm them. At the moment, I don't, but... Saw that. That's just this brief glimpse of something blue and something orange. More importantly. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. I'm not sure the game's going to let me in there straight away, though. Maybe. Shut up, you little asbo. <laughs> if you're wearing a hoodie, you're an asbo. It's the rules. I don't make the rules. It doesn't matter that I'm currently wearing a hoodie, okay? 
Ah, it's gonna get high. <laughs> Just bear with me. I refuse to believe he doesn't get something from this, you know, a little bit of... One more. I'll do for now. <laughs> I'm gonna slam my fist against this rock. It's fine. Oh, interesting. Okay, I, I mean... I'm guessing that I actually can't get through this door over here and that, that where I just went is actually the correct way, right? We shall see. Nope, I was wrong. Hey, zombie. We're with you in a minute, all right? <laughs> I'm going to start chucking coins on the ground. It's like, it's a power move <laughs> more than anything else. Money means nothing to me. If only that were true. Alright, the door on the left is the one that I really want to get inside. What is that? Beeswax. I've never had beeswax. That's cool. Alright, sweet little room right here. Sweet little room. I'm gonna save the cool one for last. I suspect, looking at this, that whatever's on you better be worth it. Oh, I got it. Oh, you had to get through there. Interesting. I th uh, maybe I'm not gonna go downstairs. Oh, it's a dark hollow, right? So there's maybe loot down there. Eh, yeah, we'll see. I feel like this is the main loot right here. You know. Headset, stop beeping at me. You only need to beep once to tell me on low battery. After the first beep, you don't need to keep going. Beep, beep. Like, I understand the premise of what's going on. What have we got? We've got vodka, we've got whiskey, and the bomber. An epic... Yeah, alright, cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> Apparently that's an exit. <laughs> Right, done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a peek over here again. Just in case, you never know, folks. You never know. Plus, we need to UV up a little bit. Suck down that the lift. What is going on here? On track. Whatever. Right, where do I want to go? So we've got this over there. That's a story quest though, so we're obviously not going to do that. That's an absolute madness. We've got a matchmaker there. I've got three quests over here. Nothing in the south. One thing I do want to do actually while I'm here. Pop this bad boy open. Oh. And this is why. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Something else. Oh. Oh. See it somewhere. I had it and then it just stopped. <laughs> Man, whoever designed this is a dick. <laughs> okay, I can't do that one yet, apparently. Alright, but that one. Wait, where is it? Uh, that one? No. Wait, I didn't find another one over here, did I? No. Where's that electrical station that I just... Where is that? I just saw it! I just picked up it. Am I crazy? What am I doing wrong? Because this keeps happening to me. <laughs> I feel like my brain doesn't work. Where's the electrical station? Where was it? It was Horseshoe, right? Wasn't it? So confused. Am I losing my mind? 
I might be. <laughs> it seems like a very real book. I found one there, Poundfield. Wait, is that the only one I found? No, I found two, didn't I? That one we'd already found. Am I rediscovering them? They did not save last time, is that why? That could be it. Why can't I do this? I need more stamina, yeah. God, this is why we have to keep putting points of stamina. I can't do that, I can't do that. There's so much I can't do yet. All right, let's go, yeah, guess. Wrong zombie! Wrong zombie! I didn't see that one! God damn it. Bad zombie. Part of me does it a little bit on purpose, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy the, uh... I quite enjoy the chasing. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Good job, Aiden. Run. Trophies for days. I mean, it's pretty risky business. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Nope, never mind. Okay, we're gonna die. Let's stop being silly. Oh, level two. <laughs> Aiden, Aiden, please, for the love of God, climb. Aiden, <laughs> all right, that's what I needed. Denying myself some lovely jubbly honey and chamomile. Which is a delicious combination, it must be said. I'm not really big on tea. I know that's slightly blasphemous given my Britishness. I just find that most tea I I like I always like the idea of like flavoured teas, right? And they just they never taste like anything. They really don't. And people who say they do are lying to themselves. <laughs> it's it's a racket. It's a literal racket. Anyways, I am Aiden. You are Catch Creation. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Let's talk. You know me? Yeah. I was hoping I'd bump into you, actually. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rahim. I run Sparker, the first post-apocalyptic dating service. Genius. A dating service? I could use a little something-something, if you know what I mean. Uh, tell me. Oh, I'll gladly explain. Get you up to speed? Okay, I'll admit it. I made you a card already. Whoa, <laughs> what? I created a profile for you. A profile on, on a card? What on earth for? Well, it's my job. The world may have ended and most of our loved ones have turned into bloodthirsty monsters roaming the streets, but uh, that doesn't mean people have stopped being lonely. I mean, shit, that's exactly why they're lonely these days. So, well, let me get this straight. Your cards help people meet. Basically, yes. People who want to meet other people come see me. I draw them. I'm pretty good at that, or at least that's what I'm told. Then I put their portrait on a card and display it on my dating board. If someone's interested, they get in touch with me and voila, a romance is born. Not always for very long, but uh, I guess that's something that hasn't changed. But right now, I'm in deep shit and I desperately need help. Of course you do. Some shithead trying to imitate me forged several Sparker cards. They scattered them around town. That's infringement. 
It's ruining my reputation and disorienting my customers. I need someone to collect these fake cards for me and bring them back. I heard that talentless hack was killed in a dark zone, so he won't be bothering me again. And I managed to find most of the fake cards. But there are two left I couldn't get hold of. Bring them to me, and I'll give you the card I've made for you. Check the map on the wall. I've marked possible locations for the fake cards. Do I have to actually do any thinking? I hope not. Water tower, military airdrop, matchmaker, matchmaker, thing that doesn't exist. Okay. Let's go get the cards, I guess. I've got to say, so far, again, I, I kind of made this point recently, but the, um, the side quests in this game are just much less interesting than they were in the first game. Maybe it's because these like little minor minor side quests and it's a little bit different. But generally speaking, they feel much less involved to me. I haven't found there's really not been any side quests that have been like super duper interesting. Yeah, just give me the booster. Oh good. Yes, fire resistance booster. That's exactly what I've been craving all this time. Oh sweet. Oh. <laughs> if rules are the fraud these days. Hey. Hey, where did he happy? come from? I wasn't here for a quest. <laughs> what is happiness if not a disease of fools? Uh you lost me on that one. Wait. You seem like a man of power. Do you wish to possess the world's most powerful weapon? I guess. The world's most powerful weapon? <laughs> okay, what is it? You will see with your own eyes. I will give you its location, and in return, you will give me all your money. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what is money compared to such a priceless thing? It buys me food and drink, keeps me from starving. I can go on. Fine. Two hundred and a money-back guarantee. And if you do not value the weapon as I have, I shall return your money. That is literally what the money-back guarantee Will means. You oh, thank my you. Challenge? Sure. Why not? I'll kill you if you steal it. Okay, I'm in. Look for chests hidden on the old overpass overlooking East Horseshoe and the roof of the office building close by. The last one you open will contain the world's most powerful weapon. Search, and you shall find it. Shit, this won't be easy. I'm gonna make a prediction now. It's like a it's, it's like a note that says hope or some malarkey like that, right? I'm just racking these quests up. Crazy. Great. I have to tell my kids no food tonight. Kids don't need food. Just give them an Xbox and they'll be fine. Okay, I feel like there's just too many little weird side quests and I need to, to stop, <laughs> preferably, but it's fine. There's another one over here. Who's that pilgrim guy never gave us that water? A stranger decides to give us something we need, and that's a negative to you. <laughs> yeah, be nice. Hey, I'm that pilgrim. What's wrong? It was you? <laughs> Great. We got our ration today, but Maria here wants to use it all to wash her hair. Because I can't stand another fucking day like this. Just because you don't mind hair like a sheep overdue for shearing doesn't mean... All I want is to water the plants, Maria. What good will your shiny hair be if you starve to death? It's gonna rain tonight. I'm sure of it. You'll use up the water and then it'll rain. Those plants don't need that much water anyway. It's your way of showing me you don't care about my needs. 
Hey, well, what if it doesn't rain? It will! I'm sure of it. How? When did you become the local weather girl? I can feel it in my bones. I guess we need to keep our emotions in check to make rational decisions. What's that supposed to Very mean? Very risky thing to say to two women. You want to talking about <laughs> feeling the rain in your bones. And it's obvious you would be happy living in a pigsty. Okay, ladies, I'll leave you to it. Oh, wow, okay. What? Game, I don't understand you. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going over there. I just like to point out when I say that's a risky thing to say to a couple of women, I don't mean because women are overly emotional or anything. I mean because there's a tendency for men to say to women, "Don't get over, like, don't get emotional," just because a woman is daring to show emotion or even just having a rational conversation, quite frankly. And it's a very common thing to then get annoyed about, understandably. I, card. I know exactly who's looking for this. I'm just being a feminist. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Search the chest on top of the viaduct. Search the chest on top of the... Is this the office building? Of course the night runners are real. They are who I aspire to be. I hope the night runners... I hope some of them are alive, because everyone else in the game is kind of a dick. <laughs> like, I've been going back and forth about whether... Oh, but I do have to get back up there. All right, how did I do this last time? I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop. Restricted I've been going back and forth on whether I made the right choice with PKs versus um, survivors. I think I did. I think I'm pretty happy. Oh, I'd love to be able to go up there. How did I get up there? I actually don't remember at all. That way, I guess. Um, well, you know, just night runners. That'd be cool if they're alive. Hang out with those guys. They seem chill. Yeah, I remember this now. It's a hell of a journey to get to the top, though, from what I remember. Wait, how did I... No, I don't remember, because now I'm stuck again. Okay, but I can wall run, so maybe. Oh, come on. You can do it, kid. I believe. If you believe it will happen. I need the wall run jump. I'm going to do this, I think. Get up! <laughs> right, come on. Yeah, which I don't have. Um. Oh, right, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. That was the Mars Way one, but... Getting closer. Mildly knowing that I've already been up here, but hey ho. Oh, that was not it. This is one of those ones that I feel like I can probably make that jump, but not in my current state. Maybe I need the boost thing, but we need to go this way for now. I mean, I would have rather gone the other way because this is much more terrifying, but that's neither here nor there. All right, and we don't go that way. <laughs> we go around the corner. Yeah, I remember. Oh, taking some risks there. Didn't really think about what I was doing. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. It looks very cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> let's, let's, let's try to stay by the wall here. Oh, Hayden, please. Please. Right, there we go, finally. <laughs> Apparently not here. Okay. Next one is that way. Ah, sweet. Wait, did I see this last time? Might have been on the verge of death there, huh? who knows? Okay, ah, I believe there was a I think that might be another GRE thing up there on top of the aqueducts. Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. Well, I'm sure they'll wait. For many, many days. Okay. 
Oh, no, I got that already. So that means I've managed to get up there as well, which is where I'm trying to get to now. How did I do that? And this is really annoying. These two things, these two difficult climbs I've already done. I have to do them again. Alright, that, that's how we're going to get up there. I guess. No. Bad zombies. No respect these days. No respect for their elders. I've been a human longer than you've been a zombie. I get priority. You ever feel like you shouldn't be doing these things? Actually, I tell you what, I was going to... What, Nora? I was going to say I shouldn't be doing these things at night time. But it is essentially... I was about to say, a free parkour bonus right for everything I'm doing. So why not, I suppose? Okay, yeah. Can get down. And run. Wait, run where? Oh yeah, on there. I remember that. I remember. I remember. Give me a minute. Oh! Oh! oh. No! Come on! God damn it. And then my head goes. Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. All, but you know what? <laughs> that was actually perfectly timed as well. Because if I'd done that like a few seconds earlier, I would have lost my nighttime bonus. And now I've teleported up to the top, and I got my nighttime bonus, so I didn't actually lose anything. I'm a genius. <laughs> it was all on purpose. <laughs> that nut job has some splaining to do. Splaining. Splaining. Who even are you, Aiden? Can I slide down these? Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, it's right here. I don't want to start. No, we're too late in the episode to start this kind of malarkey. Grab that. Grab that. Go back there. Cool. We're working through it. There isn't that much left in terms of these uh, side quests, assuming we don't get loads more. The reason we're getting loads, I'm assuming, is because we, obviously, we did the water tower, we set all that malarkey up. Can't you see it? Why? Anything at all? No. And basically, the map repopulates with side quests. And for whatever reason, I don't think it's a bad reason, or bad idea, they've um, made it so side quests will just automatically just fill up the map. You have to somewhat find them as you explore. Why can't I get up this bloody hill? I got up last time. There we go. Well, sometimes you get up, sometimes you don't. Um, what was I saying? I assume the point is so that there isn't like a billion things on the map instantly at once, you know, which tends to be annoying. When people get sort of choice paralysis. Anything cool? Nope, you're the same guy from before. What's that blue thing? It's a bandit thing. Alright, let's. A big old dummy. Where's your friends? There they are. You're not wrong. I wonder if that's scaling at all. It doesn't feel like it is. You know my um, the XP rewards I get for doing these little mini quests. At some point, they're going to stop being worth my time because the XP seems to always be around the 250 mark. And it does take more XP to level up over time. It already, it's it's pretty high at the moment. It's 8,500. So, you know, those 2,500s, or 250s, I should say, are a much, much smaller percentage. And this is the one... Well, that's cool. This one I know is... Wait, what? What was... Where? <laughs> What's that? 
Right, that's the one I can't... Maybe I can't pick it up at night time, and that's why it wasn't there. Let me go double check. That could be it. That could be a thing. Yep. It's a child. Hey, little one. How are you? I'm not little. But hey, wait. We've met before. I'm Aiden. What's your name again? Maya. What are you doing here, Maya? Looking for bandits. Gonna beat the crap out of them. But I'm hiding from the infected right now. Ah, so what did these bandits do to you? They stole lots of stuff. But the most important thing was... Oh, they're here. There she is. You're done following us around, you little shit. Told ya. You're dead, kid. Don't worry. How about I beat him up? Hide it. This won't take long. You're gonna murder a child? Alright. You get in the business. The business! Alright, I wanna do a parkour thing. I haven't done it in ages. Okay, I kind of forgot how to do it. You're done. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. I'm not like that. I'm not leaving the mission area. <laughs> oh, screw it. It's only level one. Level one and dropping level three weapons. Nice combo. What are you cooking? Taters! Thanks! That was amazing! And gross, too. It's my speciality. And they're the ones who stole your stuff? No, there were more of them before. The rest probably have it. What's this most important thing they took? My music box. Why is it so important to you? It belonged to my mother. That's all I have left of her. Aww. That does sound important. You need to find it, and... I'll let you keep it if you do. You did save my life. The bandits went into that building, overlooking a construction site on William the Ninth Road. You gotta get it from them. If you won't, then I will. Whoa, 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 little... I mean, my lady... Don't worry, I'll handle them. If you can't find them, just stop and listen. The music box plays a melody like this. I'll keep that in mind. But they won't be there during the day. Go at night. They always go back to that building at night. Why don't I take you home? Where do you live? I'll go to the bazaar by myself. I'm not a baby. If you don't want to keep the music box, you could sell it there. It's worth a lot. I mean, I'd rather just give the music box back to you, kid. <laughs> you know, it was stolen from you. I don't need it as a reward. Okay, I want to do one more thing. Do I? What's this? So that's the nighttime dark hollow. Let's go talk to the monk, and then we'll end up. Please back up. And then, oh my god, making me uncomfortable. And then next video, we'll do more side quests, and hopefully, ah, oh, so close to glory. And hopefully, that'll be enough to kind of clean up the map a little bit. You know, I suspect there's a few more side quests still to come at the other side of the map. We haven't really been exploring the the Hound's Tooth sort of area because it's uh, level four. I don't see the point in going there yet. <laughs> Alright, game, calm down. <laughs> Alright, monkey boy. Let's talk, eh? Oh, right, yeah. I was meant to mention about the electrical station because I keep kind of getting confused by them. I don't really know why. I've already had it confirmed to me that the first electrical station, at the very least. Um, <laughs> Satan, loving life? What's that all about? Um, the first electrical station, at the very least, um, is part of the story. So we don't need to really worry about finding them yet. You know, it'll pop up at some point. It'll become a viable option. We can go from there. Two, the end. This ridiculous blockade of the 
Before you say, what's a con job but a shiny stone to a simpleton? I'll knock it out of your... Whence comes such anger? <laughs> Wait, whence? I climbed like an idiot to the top of the viaduct for nothing. Don't you see? You've gained the most powerful weapon after all. It's perseverance. <laughs> what? The most powerful weapon in the world is perseverance, which you displayed when you climbed to the very top. And I paid you for that? Give me my money back. Perseverance will overcome the greatest difficulties, and lack of it will destroy you, as it has destroyed our world. Win the war faster, research the virus faster and sloppier. So what will it be? Would you sacrifice your perseverance just to get your money back? There was nothing there. Give me back my money. What is... <laughs> my fist in your face, but the broken nose of a cheat. Right. I see. Here, here's your money. You have much to learn. Oh, I don't. You're a dummy. I knew this old couple. Carl and Elliot. He used to live above the antique shop on Porsche. They Usually I probably would have let him keep the money because I'd be curious to see what side quests would come from it or maybe he's got another reward. But as I said before, I would prefer to try to make decisions that are logical and that my character might make rather than decisions that... Um, Um, I do for game. I don't want. I don't want to do gameplay decisions. I want to do story decisions. Right? It's quite a big difference between the two. Okay. Right. We'll end it there. I have to go charge my headset. Otherwise, I would have done the next video right away. Uh, what is that? Oh, but there's a thing. Why is it being super weird? We've been in there. I don't know what that's all about. So next video, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna do the Dark Hollow. Well, the Sparker card. Then we're gonna go over here. Get the music box, which again I'm taking back to the bazaar. Then I'm gonna swing over here, do double time, and we'll do a scout whilst we're in here, because I think there's quite a lot in Houndfield that I haven't done yet. Eventually we'll go back to the bazaar, turn everything in, and then we'll go back and do water tower. That is the plan. I do want to do every side quest that is level appropriate now. Basically. Do I though? Maybe I wanna go do water tower. Yeah. I suppose at some point... Oh, maybe... Okay, no, actually, I've changed my mind entirely. <laughs> we just did a big side quest video, so now we'll do a main storyline video, right? And at some point, we're going to unlock access to the central loop, which is this area here, right? All this big area... Oh, my gosh, huge. All this big area over here eventually is going to be unlocked. Um, but when that happens, we can just not go through. We can stay here and then clean the map up entirely. I think we'll just keep alternating for now. We'll see how I feel. I'll just... I'll go... I'll go day by day. Anyways, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers, as always. Bye-bye.